I can't even see myself. Okay. Good. No. That's good because he's. How long is he looking at the camera the whole I time? I can't even see myself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your channel, but oh. I'm tagging along. Tagging along, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we. Oh wait, I should put some lip gloss on. Never mind. Um, no, you gotta put some lip gloss on. Go on. Oh, this is too far. It's fine. <laughs> so we are. I've got the dog on my lap. We are introducing a new series. A new. Barbie series. Barbie series called I, I Know We Said, said No More, more Barbies. <laughs> so, Merch available at oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, so for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am obsessed with Barbies and we are obsessed with Barbies yeah. and we have developed uh, an immense collection of Barbies. Weeks of Vanity has developed an immense collection by of, of, of with of a Barbies. few Nikita exclusives. A few hints of Nikita. <laughs> um, um, most of which I've bought her. Now, <laughs> bonuses! Uh. Bonuses! <laughs> do such good work! <laughs> okay, so what we really want to do is we want to document our Barbie collection, the Weeks of Vanity Barbie collection, um, and have it, you know, saved for, you know, for future generations. Of us. Of us. <laughs> Mostly for us. Oh, where's my jacket? Oh, it's fine. I'm cold. Mm. Now, <laughs> we have, this is actually a, a, like fourth time trying to do this. We're like, we're amateurs, guys. Oh, we tried it with a camera and then that was really hard. And they just uh, fucked up all the time. So hard. And now we're on Nikita's phone. So actually it's good because now we can do a little, oh, I should do a little, little video. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Look, we're recording our first. Oh, oh. <laughs> Our first YouTube video for Barbies. Oh, yay. Hey, hey. Hi, guys. Look, we're recording our first. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> our first YouTube video for Barbies. Oh, yay. Hey, hey. Um, okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to change the format again. Oh, God, why? Okay. So, we're, we're, welcome to I Know, I know we, we Said No More, more Barbies. Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> cut we are, the crap out of it. We are gonna, this is such amateur hour, guys. This is like, we are not professionals. Trixie makes it look so easy. Oh my God, she makes it look so easy. <laughs> and we just, we know that Willem's going to read us on, on Beatdown. We I know really don't want to get onto Beatdown. <laughs> I don't want to be on Beatdown. I love Beatdown. I don't want to be on it. <laughs> uh, no, no, sometimes this is nice things, though. Okay, oh, we'll be on nice only if you say Yeah, only if you say nice things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is, this is actually our okay. first episode. It's a full experiment. We don't know how long it's going to take. We don't know how long we're going to go for. But we have a very simple format, okay? We're going to introduce a few Barbies each episode, mm -hmm. um, which we consider... We're going we're gonna to have a heavy hitter or heavy mm -hmm. hitters. So what we consider to be like famous Barbies. Um, and then we're going to introduce a couple of... Minor characters. Minor characters. Supporting characters. Which we kind of, you know, just in private call bottom shelf buddies. <laughs> What's supposed to say that? I know, but you know, I'm sorry, Australian Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to do an unboxing. Oh. Okay, on every episode. We have like. This is the reason why I'm pushing to get this done. Like, we're like, let's do it. She needs to unbox I'm just, I need to fucking start unboxing, but we need to like start making the Barbie collection pay for itself. Yeah. Well, not pay for itself. It's, you know, unless this gets monetized, I don't know. But like, I don't think it will. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> monetized. But I, but, but I kind of want to make the Barbie, the, the, the later editions sort of part of the, make it worthwhile. Mm. For, for only if, if, even if it's just for me, to justify spending money on well, Barbies. they're all on the stories, but then there's like 400 highlight reels. Oh, yeah, you can go. If you want to watch the entire Barbie collection from start to finish. Yeah, as it's grown. As it's grown from start also to finish. Also watch me grow. <laughs> <laughs> I watch me shrink. <laughs> at surgery. <laughs> um, so, so uh, you can go to the, my Instagram and you can watch um, that on, on uh, the, all the highlights. But our unboxing today is going to be... Dreamtime Barbie mm. and the Dream Bed, which I've this has been sitting here for so long, waiting to be open. I am desperate to open this, which is why we're doing that. So we're going to do that. So this look, we, this might take a little while. I don't know. It's YouTube. I don't know. We'll see what we can we'll edit see out. See what we can do. But, but it's you all know, great content. Bear with us, guys. Okay. So let's just start okay. by by a Telling little our... expl explanation of of how this started. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need my lip gloss. Hold on. You start. You start. I literally said that. Okay, <clears throat> so we 
Should I talk about my Barbies? Sure. Okay. okay. So I fell in love with Barbies from, you know, I came out of the womb loving Barbies. Um, and my, I have an older sister and an older brother who okay, came right now. Of Barbies. So my Barbies. <laughs> 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 who had lots of Barbies from the early 80s and then I was born and then we sort of had Barbies that sort of carried through into the sort of early to mid 90s but um there was always lots of shame around me playing with Barbies I wasn't really allowed to play Barbies after the age of like three like I got to like the age of four and it was suddenly like no you can't play with them anymore like what do you mean you can't play with them you have to play with trucks and I was like ooh, trucks yeah. they don't even have hair what am I supposed to brush <laughs> So stubborn. I can't not, even dress them up. No, I have played with trucks. <laughs> no, I have played with trucks. Um, so I played with Barbies in secret a lot. And then I just sort of, you know, grew out of it as you as you do. And then I didn't really... What, what you, how old were you when you grew out of it? Like <laughs> 13, 14? <laughs> Probably about 14. Yeah. Like too old. Well, what's too old? What's normal? Oh. Just sitting on a washing machine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking normal, y'all are friends. So, I was born in '78, and um, and I had an older sister who was born in '80, uh, '74, mm-hmm. and a younger sister who was born in '84. Mm-hmm. So bookended. Yeah, '84. So um, so I'm the middle child, obviously. Um, and I had the pleasure of playing with my big sister's Barbies through the '80s when I was a kid. And then my little, little sister's Barbies from sort of the late 80s and 90s, early, early 90s. 90s. Once again, I there are Barbies like some Barbies, which we'll show you later, but like the, the green Christmas Barbie, holiday Barbie, yeah. like that came out like when I was 15. And I was like <laughs> obsessed with <laughs> <laughs> so it was like I also played with Barbies longer than what I should have, but there's a lot of shame around it. And um, but if you want to like hear a lot of the full shame story, then you can go to Brenda Corby and listen to that podcast with me and Courtney because we talk about that childhood shame from everything, you know. Well, where can you get your podcast? Oh yeah, I was obsessed with Barbies, but like Nikita, I wasn't allowed to have my own because they were girls' toys. And from a very young age, my stepfather made me feel, you know, was. It didn't hide the fact that he found it shameful that um that God, I was shame playing, that... I was a boy playing with girls' toys. Oh, the shame. Those generations. I know. Gave us so much shame. So much shame. <laughs> so, um, as an adult, I always dreamed about having a Barbie room in my house. Mm-hmm. And I never thought really it would happen anyway. Like, you know, I thought, oh god, then I got too old and I was like, Oh god, I'm not gonna have a Barbie room. What's the face of like, you know? But then Who's got the place. money? Who's, Who's got, got the, the time? Apparently <laughs> <laughs> <Only> me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't own a house, but I own a fabulous Barbie. <laughs> <version. laughs> really, just a smart forty-two-year-old man playing Barbie. <laughs> 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 Excuse me. So that's how we kind of that's 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 our you know like our childhood mm. sort of story and our love where our love for Barbie came from. And it's interesting because we're exactly ten years apart. Yes, like ten years and one week yeah. apart. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> in age, but we have the same space, same, same story. Yeah, and the same story in the exact same era of Barbies that we love, yes. which is the Barbie with the superstar face. superstar face, which, which was from nineteen seventy seven to nineteen ninety six. At a push. push. <laughs> <laughs> I have found a couple of 97 ones, but I'm like, I don't no. know. <laughs> no. No. Um, ugly. So uh, our collection, we do have a variety of, of different characters. We've got Christie's, uh-huh. we've got Cherise's, we've got some new Barbies. We've got, but, but, but Midge. Midge. Or, but, but our Barbie is blonde, superstar face Barbie. That's what we consider our Barbie. That's what we grew up with. That's what we grew up that's with. That's what was and that, available. And that's, that's what the collection technically is. I went through a phase on Instagram where I was like doing stories and talking about my Barbie childhood mm-hmm. and Barbies that I found, you know, fabulous in my childhood. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to do recreate those looks. Yes. And so I was talking about them on my stories and looking at photos and then imagining how to make their outfits and stuff like that. And then um, I was based on those stories. Um, Loving You Barbie was the one that I was really, oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, excuse me. Was that the first look you did or was it Barbie and the Rucker Star? I, I don't remember. I can't recall. I'm sure if we go back to my Instagram, we could scroll through. But anyway, um, and so I was talking about loving you, Barbie. And so in the mail arrived a package from a wonderful woman named Clary in San Francisco, who I'm very good friends with now on Instagram or through Instagram. Um, and never met, but you know, best friends. Yeah, yeah. Talk <laughs> and, all um, the time. Yeah, and um, and she 
watch my stories and you know just it was such a generous person she sent me a new inbox vintage perfect loving you barbie which i was just like oh my fucking god and that is that started the whole thing off mm. so we do have loving you barbie just here which we'll get into that in a second um and then we had them in boxes and i got to send another barbie as well we got super, send super hair barbie from tiffany from holly sweet official on instagram um because once again she heard me talking about her but we'll get to her in another, That's episode another video as well. yeah um but so we had these two barbies sitting on the shelves in their boxes for ages months and months and months i didn't mm. ever thought about opening them because i was like oh they're just like display pieces and they're beautiful and i'd look at them and anyway then we decided we wanted to buy a barbie house because we wanted to do we had a project that we still haven't done but we won't <laughs> talk about it because we don't want to give it away yeah and it's it's in the works but also we just wanted it to be like a fabulous piece of artwork in the studio yes. like just to have yeah and you know modern modern um modern businesses like dot com businesses have like foosballs and like basketball courts in their thing. We're like, we're gonna have a Barbie house. A Barbie house. No Barbies in it. No, just a Barbie house. It's like a fabulous piece of art. I think we still had Shane then as well. We must have. We're like, oh, it's just gonna be for display. Just, just for display. display. We're not gonna play with it. No no, 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 no. Just for display. So then we had the Barbie house sitting there. We we put it up. We constructed it. And it was just like this Barbie house sitting, just this massive, for, this massive um, thing. Christmas. Yes, we, we had a like, Christmas party one Blinda, year. Blinda and we all came in and and um and <laughs> on a day off on a Saturday and yeah. and we put together the Barbie house. It was lovely and fun. And then we went out for drinks. I think. Yes, yeah, we did. Yeah. And then we were like, should we put a Barbie in it? We just need to put one Barbie in it. Oh no! Stop. We had slap Barbie in it. Slap Barbie. Maxie got me a Barbie for my birthday, fortieth birthday. That was she thought was. Made in 1978, but it wasn't. She was lied to on on, on eBay. Anyway, careful on eBay kids, careful buying on eBay. So, so she was this, she was in this this like homemade dress. She was gross. Anyway, she so we stripped her off and she's naked now. <laughs> and she, she actually turned out to be Princess Barbie. So there's a whole story. There's actually a video on Instagram that you can watch about her her and coming we'll of age. Talk about her as a character. She's Later got on, lots of personality. Going and all this that we're talking about now is the Barbie Bay setup that we've got and you if you've watched Instagram you would have seen that we'll do a full video on that but anyway okay so rattling on <coughs> let's get to the Barbies okay let's get to the Barbies okay yeah so so then we got obsessed and then we bought one Barbie and then another Barbie and then another Barbie oh yeah that's pretty much well right. COVID here that's what happened we kept ourselves amused with COVID, COVID. and that's where the we coined the, the well the name I know we said no, but no more Barbies came from because it was COVID like we weren't making money like it was like <laughs> we didn't know if the business was even going to exist <laughs> And like keep buying Barbies, I'm like oh, yes, I'm like oh, but no. so every, every day I'm like oh, I bought the Barbie, oh, I bought, <laughs> another, oh, number two. And so then we'd go on Instagram and we're like, oh, look, we know we said no more Barbies, but and that became a thing. Mm. So this, welcome to, I, I know we said, said no, no more Barbies. Barbies. <laughs> <sighs> so let's start with loving you, Barbie. Now, this dress, I don't remember loving you, Barbie herself from being a kid. Because, like I'm sure most people's childhood toy collections, it was just a box of Barbies and a box of clothes and accessories and, sh and a bar whatever it is. Mm. And you just because the moment you get them, you just take them apart and you put them, you dress them up, and that's what that's what Barbie is. She's fashion play. Yeah. She's a model. So, so I definitely remember the dress and loved the dress. And the dress went on every Barbie when I played with Barbies. <laughs> everyone, yeah. had the, everyone had this dress on. <laughs> so, um, so that's why she's my favorite. And this is and my big sister had her. From, um, from a Christmas, I asked, actually asked my mum about Colleen's Barbies because I wondered, did we get like a, a lot? Did Amanda, my little sister, get a lot with like old stuff in it? Mm. But no. Everyone what, was... Everyone was bought from for, from either Colleen or Amanda. So Colleen, my big sister, had had Loving You Barbie and this is the Barbie that Clary bought me. Um, and she's absolutely gorgeous. Now we do have her on Prancer, which was a later edition, um, which I never really was interested in buying horses. But when yeah, I realised, yeah, it's a whole other thing. But when I realised that Prancer is loving you, Barbie's horse, I was like, oh, I have to have Prancer as well. And the saddle. And the saddle with the side. Oh saddle. my god! Like she's sit sitting fucking side saddle, guys. Okay. So it was like so glamour. Um, and she once she, once we've put her on this horse, she's never come off. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and we oh, and her skirt isn't original. Well, it is original, but it's like this is. We've got her skirt in the wardrobe, which is like a complete, it's like, a, it's like an A-line lined skirt. 
And I wanted to make it sexy, like, so she's being like me. If I want, I do love you, Barbie. Like a split. So anyway, we got a, a lot of Barbie clothes, um, as you just. do. Just for the <laughs> skirt. <laughs> and it had a pretty good condition, loving you, Barbie skirt in it. Um, and so I cut the lining out, turned it around, put it on the side, and now she's got a fabulous split. But, like, on Prancer, like, I mean, that is just, she's just yeah, so just... sex. Like, that's so, so beautiful. beautiful. And um and she's just oh just so gorgeous and she actually had a little because she's she's the one that represents me, um so I made this little little lily bit, <laughs> so she always has a little lily bit on the lap, um as part of the farts now that he's farts yeah as part of the farts oh we should have got his name oh sorry if you watch this and we don't remember your name I'm so sorry, um so this is loving you Barbie, and prance up just the star of the. Whole collection. The whole collection. The beginning of the whole collection. So thank you, Clary, for that because you started this whole journey for us. <laughs> it's a very expensive journey. <laughs> My invoice will be in the mail. <laughs> um, so that's her. Mm -hmm. This is She's my quintessential ultimate Barbie and I love her and she's on full display in the cabinet usually. She just goes here and that's where she lives now. So, let's talk about yours. And then, uh, mine's a two-parter, um, because the first one that I got was, uh, we, we had a handful of Barbies, but we didn't have any Kens. And so, I, I love the Earring Magic series. So, I always remembered this dress. Oh, wait. Just, oh, wait, wait. She's from 1983, mm -hmm. and these are from 1993. 1993. So, 10 years apart. So it's exactly oh, my God, stop! I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Did you just do that math now? No, I wrote it down before. <laughs> I didn't write it down, but I just remembered to say it. I didn't even know. Um, so I'm obsessed with Jim and the Holograms. So I grew up watching Jim and the Holograms, but it was after the Jim and the Holograms phase. So I missed the actual Hasbro dolls, but you know, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> those, those poor dolls. Um, <laughs> they, they do are. Look, they do look great, man. Very masculine. Very masculine. Um, but this dress we had when I was a kid, and I just, I every Barbie went in this dress because. It was like Jim's pink dress. Um, I just absolutely loved her and like this little mesh thing. But um, the the first Barbie that I bought into the collection was Earring Magic Ken. So Earring Magic Ken is the best selling Ken of all time. Of all time because There's a full fabulous story behind mm, it. So when he first came out, um, apparently all the Mattel was like, "Should we like get Barbie to break up with Ken? Or, like, what should we do?" And all the girls that they surveyed said that they liked Ken, but they just wanted him to be cooler. Cooler. <laughs> so Mattel's way of making him cooler was to produce this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what men, cool men, were wearing at the time. But, but those cool men were men, gay. Homosexuals. <laughs> the ones I was looking at were gay. <laughs> so they they brought out this Ken, and it's widely considered to be the gay Ken because gay he has Ken. like an earring and then he's got this... um. You know, little ring, which is basically his clip neck. earrings on to, like his earring magic. But um, you know, if you take that off, it looks it's like it's a cock ring. Yes, um, but I got him, and I just, oh, I think he's so and sexy. He's got, tips. He's got with frosted a, tips with a, a, val a la lavender velvet, um, vel um, a lavender mesh crop top. Should we do that again? <laughs> 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 a lavender. Mesh crop top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll leave all that in. <laughs> and, <laughs> and a lavender pleather vest. vest. Um, and his, he's his just pants are ugly and his shoes are ugly, but but they're like pants with like pink. I've got like pink stitching yeah, on them. It's just yeah, yeah. So, and he's just. I think he's so sexy. Like to me, that's oh, so sexy. Remember when we got him? <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna tell the story? Are we gonna are we gonna tell? So when we. <laughs> And it was so hard. <laughs> that was so for so long. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Oh. Um, and then, so, so I got him. And then later on, um, as a bonus. As a present. For doing good work. Um, Vanity bought me her. So Earring Magic Barbie. So they're, they're a little couple, but we've decided they're brother and sister. They're besties. Yeah, yeah. Because um, he's, I mean, they're not, he's gay. Yeah. But I mean, this is my quintessential Barbie with the, the hot pink pumps she's got this like huge hair the massive fringe she's got like these huge big blue eyes massive earrings just she's she's my yeah absolute pinnacle of of barbie yeah and it was really amazing because the pleather or anything that barbie is made with the pleather the pleather always 
um, disintegrates over time. Over time, but her dress was perfect so was until, until we put the waist thing around her, and um, and that's and, it, and it's you know made her dress peel a bit. But that's okay. She's never coming off that stand. She's now. never coming off that stand. So that's fine. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, they're my absolute pinnacle. Yeah, Barbies, Barbies, and then we thought, as a bottom shelf Barbie, we'll <laughs> give you Australian Barbie. Shrimp on my Barbie. <laughs> now she's from the Dolls of the World, so she's also from 1993. Um, and yeah, but like, she's actually really pretty. She's got really beautiful blue eyes, and her outfit's amazing. But I, I don't know what part of Australia she's from. She's actually a Jillaroo, which is like what's a Jillaroo? A Jillaroo is a female version of a oh rancher. yeah, a rancher, a, straight, a jumbuck. I think it's called Jumbuck. <laughs> you just Isn't made it? that word up. I think I did. <laughs> I feel guilty now because I don't remember the... A, ja- a Jackaroo. A Jackaroo. A Jackaroo? Oh, my God. I have literally no idea. It's, I grew up in New Zealand, by the way. So. Yeah. It's a. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically like an Australian cowboy. Rancher. Rancher. Yeah. Um, but, like, I don't know. She's, like, Australian Barbie from, like, 1870. Yeah, I don't understand <laughs> why you would be ranching in... Like, this doesn't seem very Well, I mean, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's, 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 obviously, it's a period piece because, like, you know, I'm sure women these days are ranching in jeans and, like, you know, boots and, like, really, you know, normal clothes. But this, I don't know. I, the, the box does not give us a date of when it was based on. Um, and I can't work out the period. And I've literally never like, seen any Australian dress like that. No, no. <laughs> well, not, not in this century or last century. <laughs> but anyway, so she's a Jillaroo, Um and she's Australian Barbie. Bottom shelf. Okay. Time for the unboxing. Time for the unboxing. So introducing another character into our Barbie world is Carla. Carla is what we affectionately call our Barbie mule. But she's also a good friend. She's a good what is friend in um in South Carolina, originally from Boston. And I met her on Instagram. We've connected and, and she's a Barbie obsessed woman as well. Grew up with Barbies, has her own Barbie. She still has her childhood Barbies in good condition. Anyway, I was talking to her about how much it costs to Ship. ship from America through eBay, which is where I buy all the Barbies from. Um, and you can, we buy them from Australia as well, but there's just not the, op, the not the, the the range, the range or the price point. Like Barbies in America are cheap, but here they're like so expensive. So so we struck up a deal where she would buy the Barbies. I would pay her, but like she would buy the Barbies, have them sent to her house, and then send them to me in one big box. Which we have another box. We actually do have box. Is that box six? That's box six. I was it seven. I think it's box seven. I think box five was the boat. Anyway, so maths. This <laughs> maths. <laughs> this is Dream Time Barbie. This is from one of um, Carla's uh, boxes, mm-hmm. um, and I did find this in Australia actually. Actually, it's only sixty dollars. It's actually really cheap. Wow. This is why I got it. Um, and like this, I remember. I think my sister had this. I remember the pillows. So, like, I remember the pillows. I don't remember the, the full set, but I remember, anyway. Remember so, bits. I remember the bits. Anyway, it's a Barbie dream bed, and I needed to have, and I've always wanted to have Dreamtime Barbie as well. And you know what? Her bear's name, BB. Ah, she loves BB. She loves BB. Ah, <laughs> BB by a stranger. Ah. <laughs> he man. He man. I'm okay. <laughs> She is twins. <laughs> she is best squirrel friend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's got she it. She's got a little bit of it. Not a huge amount, but she's got it. Hmm. Did we describe the smell? Or was it that one of our... That was... Oh, that was Maybe one of our... the tests. The test. So, the reason why we smell Barbies is because vintage Barbies have a smell. And it's a combination of plastic... plastic Cardboard, cardboard and dust and dust and undertones yeah. of dust. The base note is 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 dust. Mm. But it just there's something about the way that they were packaged back in the eighties and nineties. Something about the type of cardboard that they used or oh, plastic that what oh gross right. um, that you know reminds us of that childhood because that that's what the that's what the lounge room would smell like mm. at Christmas when you were unboxing all of your toys. That's a very yeah. distinctive childhood and it, smell. And it's, and, it's, and it's preserved in these Barbies. So she's from 1984. Mm, okay, cool. And she's just, oh, is she pretty? She's pretty. I, lo- I, th- I think it's interesting that she's looking to the side. Yeah, she is. She's looking at BB. 
very rarely, like none, I don't think any of the modern Barbies look to the side. Well, certainly not from this era. Can you see that? Can you see? Is that, she, is she out of focus? Let me, let me, let me give it, I'll give it a tap and see if... So no, no, she's in focus. Okay, she's in focus now. Look how beautiful. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we're amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> so... We'll get this open, we'll edit this. Oh, she's got back to the floor. Okay. Okay, so we're back. We've got her out of the box. She is absolutely glorious. I might give her a steam later, so her dress is perfect and beautiful. She's actually prettier than the Barbie that's on the dream bed box. Yeah. I don't know what Barbie that is. I think mean, it's dream time Barbie, look. She's got that. Oh uh, yeah, it is. It is too. She's a different print though. Okay. Mm. So it is a set. That's great. I didn't realise that. Okay, I'm going to get her shoes out. Okay. Oh, she's got these. You know what? I think I prefer these khakis over the pumps. They just fit so well. Like, the pumps just never quite fit on, you know what I mean? I like the 80s pumps more than the 90s Smurfette pumps. Yes, like but the even, Barbie and the Rockers. Yeah, and, and superhair Barbies. Mm. We also have a Barbie shield session. Yeah, we do. Sparkle Eyes Barbie. Her shoes are amazing. Okay, so we'll get to Sparkle Eyes, but if you were a Barbie collector... Can you please let us know why Sparkle Eyes has different shoes than everybody else and why they're so yeah. freaking amazing? And why they never put them on anyone else. Oh my god, is her dress sheer? It is a little bit sheer. Actually, it is sheer. Okay. She loves it. She's a, she's a sexy woman who knows how to treat her teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 dream time Barbie. And I'm so glad they gave her fucking high heels because that's just like, it's just, I know she's going to bed, but like, she still needs to be glamorous. Yeah. <clears throat> She'll be wearing shoes in bed. So like, may yeah. as well have cute shoes to walk around the house in. Right. God. Okay. Because that was the 80s. Glamour. Now, oh my God, flat feet Barbies are not welcome here. Hmm. Okay. So, oh my god, this is gonna be exciting. And then we have the Barbie Dreamtime bed. Oh, this is 1982 and she's 1984. Wait, what did I say before? Yeah, 1984. This is made two years before her. Weird. Uh... So maybe <clears throat> there was a different Barbie. Okay. We get designer sheets in here. Oh. Yeah. Now, we are unboxers. Mm. We are not people who keep our shit in boxes. Right? We want the unboxing experience that we never had. And the did. tactile play. We we love the tactile play. Yeah, love it. Love putting it together, love all the bits. And you just don't get, you don't get toys like this anymore. I just like, don't make them like this. I don't make them like this anymore. Oh. Oh my God, there's so many things. So many things. Oh. oh my God, it's like putting together a bed for my Kia. <laughs> <laughs> There's like three steps. Step one, assemble the bed. <laughs> oh. Is it right though? Okay. Like, am I doing it right? I don't know. Okay. What's in here? Oh, shut up. Oh, that's not right. <clears throat> don't know, lady. Yeah, I remember these pillows. Look, look at these. Look at them. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm going to go right ahead and put the mattress on. Yeah. Is there a fitted chair? Is there a fitted chair? Opposite. Tuck it in. Hospital corners, please. Oh my God, it's really freaking hard, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they make all these things like just to occupy children. Like, <laughs> this would have stressed me out as a kid trying yeah. to get this. And just for like, hours trying to get it right. And then so angry with my little sister who owned it. <laughs> Messed would, it up. Who would just want to, yeah, play with it. I'm like, no! I'm like, I'm amazing. I just spent hours making it perfect. <laughs> okay, the top arm. Okay, so that's done. And then this goes on. Oh, that's easy. Oh my god. I need I need to steam these. We need to steam. Okay, we're back. The little steaming, got everything ready. I'm gonna stick this the sticker on. Let's see if the stickiness still works. Let's see if this is done properly. No slapdash stickers here. We've got the sheet. Two sheet, the top sheet now. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put that on. You can put that one on. Okay. The doona, the duvet. 
just I did try and simmer down so it laid flat a bit. It, it didn't it's work. just ruffles. You didn't want to work. Just gonna oh. ruffles gonna do what they're gonna do. Pillows. Mm. Oh, they are so cute. Yeah, I definitely remember them. Mm. And then and then um, do those edges. Just would not get this these days, would you? Not this level of craftsmanship. Ah, oh, and then there's ribbons. I have to build ribbons on that side, and I'll do this side. The bows. Oh my god! So just the detail. The detail. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, everyone. The Barbie dream bed and Dreamtime Barbie. Actually, you know what? We don't need her on the stand because I'm going to have her sit. Oh, no, she's going to stand up because, oh, my God, you know what we should do as well while we're what? here? What? In that box, there is the sleep. No. The coma zombie body. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. We are. We are 100% no. doing that. Yeah, we're doing two for one, guys. Guys, I hate <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> Hold on. We're doing two for one. We're, 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 we're doing it. We're doing it. So we just got a, a new box from Carla, um, which... <laughs> <coughs> I've been wanting this doll for age. You had one. I we we definitely had one when I was a kid, and I hated it. She's she was terrible. <laughs> oh my god, nightmares! Oh my god, she's fucking terrifying. She's a man. she's bedtime Barbie, and she has a soft body, so you can sleep with her. Um, Jabba the from, Hot Barbie. Jabba the Hot Barbie. She is from 93, your, your era. So um, I never had this one, but she has this thing where, like, you can close her eyes. To close her eyes and mouth. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Um, use warm water, not hot, on washcloth and toothbrush. To open eyes and mouth, use icy water on washcloth and toothbrush. And so what we did to, like, make it happen really quickly is we got boiling water and then, like, ice cubes. So you can have like boiling water and you have boiling water on her eyes and it would close them really quickly and then you'd use ice, like an actual ice cube on her eyeballs to make them open. But because we did that, we ruined it and then her eyes went milky. Yeah. They... And then she had this big soft body and these like terrifying <laughs> milky eyes. Oh God. Oh my God. She was so terrible. She's haunted. She's like a haunted. Oh, she and smells no. amazing. Mm. Oh, yeah, she... yes, she does. Okay. Yes, yeah, she had that. Oh. <laughs> so... Over time, the milkiness basically becomes permanent, even when you haven't used it, just as the as whatever the thing is, um, the the magic. Oh my god! So now she's got like like oh glue, glaucoma eyes. Oh my god! Is she in focus? Oh I'm not sure if she's in focus. I'm sorry if she's not in focus, guys. But like glaucoma eyes. So anyway, does she? Yeah, she does. She's milky. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get out of a box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually on <laughs> oh my god. She's <laughs> so weird. Oh, look, look and look at her body. She doesn't fit and because I tried to like make her less terrifying really by putting her in putting her in Barbie clothes. But she doesn't have she actually doesn't have like a Barbie yeah, body. She's, she's, she's sleep with her. She's, she's sleep with her. Stop showing her bits. She's so. Oh my god. She's so weird. <laughs> and then I tried. Yeah, I tried to dress her in like normal Barbie clothes to make her look normal, but it's just really doesn't. <laughs> okay. So, I, I want her like just. <laughs> she's so. She's so stupid. <laughs> she's so scary. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so Car scary. Carla hates her as well. She's like... <laughs> oh my god, she's so scary. Oh my god, I don't know why you love her so much. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> she's like so perfect for the bed. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's at the glamour one that sits there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a whole set now. Look, we've got the set. We've got a, a lovely bedtime set. She was made to be on this bed. You ruined this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> I made this video better. <laughs> like, Get out. <laughs>
Okay, she is okay. She's fine. She's heaven. She's fine. She's heaven. Do we want her sitting on the bed as well? Like, like they're chatting. Yeah, like yeah. you know, maybe. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, she can. She can. She can, she can look at the front, but she's yeah. Okay. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our first episode of I, I Know, know we, we Said No More Barbies. <laughs> Don't forget to oh, click, that subscribe. click that subscribe button, oh, kids. Ah, okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> and we can say that now because it's like actually for YouTube. Yeah, it is for YouTube. Yeah. Hmm. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more. And if you want to see more, then then tell us. And if you don't, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll only be like... Don't come for us. <laughs> Please, Please don't, don't come, come for us. us. We haven't got the mental strength. We're so fragile. We're so fragile. <laughs> we just want to play with our Barbies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna be like a fuck. fuck. Oh, I'm, actually, I'm gonna get up and have a look. I'm gonna have a look how long this has gone for. <clears throat> oh my god. 53 minutes. 53 minutes. We'll try and edit it down. We'll edit it down to like a sensible 20. Hopefully. Cut out a lot of fat. There was a whole segment of us talking about the weather. We can get it up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. It's a joke. I'm joking. Yeah. Can't say anything these days. <laughs> I'm so fragile. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> that went well. Hmm. Maybe. I think it went well. That's going to be. I don't know how it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs>